Good day, everyone. I'm Yuandao Wang from the from the University of Amsterdam. The focus of our presentation today is on towards automating factory learning operations at scale by leveraging common common language. This work has been done together with Kuronis and Zhiming. Federated learning is a revolutionary must that allows for collaborative model training across multiple decentralized um, de um, devices while maintaining data privacy, and it uh, uh, it it can effectively handle decentralized data without raw data exchange to train a joint model by aggregating and distributing local training. It is a key solution for scenarios where data cannot be centralized. Due to data privacy and um, or um, regulatory concerns, it involves uh, uh, various AI models, data, and uh, heterogeneous infrastructures that store the data. Development operations or DevOps is a set of practices that uh, combines software and development and IT operations and uh, aims to um, short uh, short the Development lifecycle and provide continuous and delivery with high software quality. ML Ops is an extension of DevOps principles to the field of machine learning. ML Ops focuses on um, automating and uh, streamlining the machine learning lifecycle. It includes model development, training, and deployment, monitoring, and retraining. FL Ops is a relatively new term that extend the concepts of DevOps and ML Ops to federated learning environment. FL Ops focuses on managing the complexity of federated learning pipelines within the life cycle, such as federated learning design, federated learning training, and federated learning operations, ICT Opens, related to federated learning training. And and such as uh, coordinating distributed training processes, ensuring data privacy, and uh, maintaining model quality across uh, decentralized data sources. In the federated learning uh, research and uh, development, we usually have to consider its diversity and uh, customization, whatever, uh, whatever what kind of federated learning uh, research works you are conducting in the ecosystem. For example, and decentralized data, uh, decentralized data stored in heterogeneous infrastructures, uh, researchers might train diverse virtual learning tasks, such as uh, content-based medical image retrieval, classifiers, artifact detection, with decentralized data. Uh, moreover, virtual learning has diverse aggregation strategies that usually perform as different uh, typology. Uh, not only centralized, but also decentralized or hierarchical federated learning typology. So we observed that uh, uh, reconfiguring and automating such diverse federated learning scenarios are still challenging. And on the other hand, and in terms of automation, we have introduced uh, DevOps, MLOps, and a recent FAOps for automate software development machine learning development and the federated learning development processes, respectively. However, uh, only very few research works could support diverse federated learning configurations. What we want to achieve is not only supporting federated learning diversity or scalability, but also high automation for diverse federated learning scenarios. So how do we achieve a highly automated federated learning process while supporting diverse federated learning scenarios? This is a main research question we are going to answer in this work. Um, to address this, uh, we introduced uh, CWFAOps um, by leveraging CW in FAOps and CW integrates into the federated learning scenarios by encapsulating the logic for data distribution, uh, model updating, and aggregation strategies. Then we can automate uh, the federated learning operations at scale. We have, uh, we have in uh, investigated uh, workflow patterns 
and CW supported patterns and uh, FAO descriptions with different scenarios, including but not limited to centralized, decentralized, hierarchical, or asynchronous theory learning topology. And uh, this up uh, this abstraction simplifies operation, make it uh, more accessible and manageable. For example, we have abstracted the uh, centralized and decentralized uh, theory learning descriptions in CWO, and here is an example of decentralized uh, uh, theory learning description. Um, this were uh, the architecture of CWO FAOs. Uh, has been published uh, in the in a poster uh, in e science conference last year and uh, we concluded the four key features of CWO FAOps and it uh, can support uh, customizable FAO services by reusing um, the source code and uh, reconfigure them as free learning building blocks through github repositories and uh, and the docker hub and in terms of the compose, uh, compose, uh, composable um, FAO typology, and it uh, enables users to design and compose their own theory learning workflows in CWO um, to support scalable FAO clients. We developed a, communi a communication REST API. It can so, uh, discover an FL client nodes and make clients registered to initialize the federated learning setup. And also, uh, with the GitHub action workflows and the Terraform configuration, we can achieve full automation for the federated learning um, development, uh, de uh, deployment, execution, and uh, logging with uh, GitHub action. The source code, the project source code in terms of decentralized theory learning scenario um, has been published uh, uh, at uh, GitHub repository. Welcome to check and, uh, and, and test. And to evaluate the proposed MERST, we conducted several experiments. In the setup, we use the theory learning source code from GitHub and employed an AWS cloud infrastructure to mimic the scalability or, or the scalable theory learning uh, nodes with decentralized uh, uh, data sets and that, uh, um, <coughs> that has been um, partition, uh, partitioned from the minced data set. We also consider the running CWO workflows locally or on remote cloud uh, uh, virtual machines. And we collected the uh, execution time for comparisons with uh, between uh, um, Python-based uh, theory learning and, uh, and uh, CW-based uh, uh, theory learning uh, implement implementation for deployment and, 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 and execution. We tested the CWO scalability with two clients and 10 clients in the AWS cloud. Uh, in the centralized uh, CWO, um, CWO theory learning, we can say it has successfully uh, collect, uh, collected uh, the execution time cost. And with uh, the data size increase, and uh, the time cost will also increase. Similarly, uh, we collect uh, the decentralized uh, CWO FL um, execution time uh, with the same data and data sizes. Uh, it also has been successfully uh, uh, deployed and executed in uh, with uh, with the CWO workflow and the cloud infrastructure. We also inv uh, investigated the CWO overhead compared to the uh, pure Python-based uh, FAO implementation, uh, in which we use uh, uh, job lab parameter and the request to achieve the automation of deployment and execution. As you can see, uh, in the two client scenario, um, the CWO workflow decentralized uh, scenario, uh, the difference between um, the Python-based and the CW-based uh, implementation, the average overhead, the time average, and the average time overhead is around uh, uh, 0 0.19. Uh, uh, 
90 minutes. And if we increase the number, the client number, as you can see, uh, the average CW overhead it's uh, uh, it is about uh, 0 0.20 uh, minutes compared to Python based uh, FL implementation is still very um, small. In the centralized uh, federated learning scenario with uh, uh, CW and uh, Python based uh, implementation, uh, uh, you can see um, with um, in the two clients, um, CW overhead is around uh, 0 0.18 minutes. Um, in the 10 clients scenario, uh, we can see the CW overhead is still around uh, 0 0.19 minutes. So the average CW overhead is relatively stable and uh, sl uh, and uh, very small and very low. So the cost, the the time overhead of CW uh, using uh, CW implementation can be ignored. To sum up. We have seen the transformative potential of CW in automating federated learning operations. And uh, we conclude uh, uh, the following uh, main advantages. It uh, is uh, customizable, it uh, is uh, um, composable, and it uh, is scalable. Um, and it can also support full automation with GitHub action. Um, besides, the CW overhead compared to the pure um, Python based implementation, it is uh, relatively stable and uh, low overhead, which means it uh, is uh, it, uh, it, it uh, is uh, almost uh, um, 10 or 12 seconds. And in the future, we, uh, we will investigate uh, more relative work. For example, we want to uh, investigate uh, the model con uh, the model quality control within the federated learning scenario of uh, federated learning lifecycle management with CWO plus a decentralized uh, virtual research environment. Thanks for your attention and time, and I'm looking forward to see how each of us can contribute to this evolving landscape.